Good morning and welcome back to the Happy Moments in Happy Valley podcast. I'm Pablo, your visitor information specialist here at the Happy Valley Adventure Bureau. We hope everyone's having a great day. This weekend was amazing, and the week ahead of us looks even better. The weather's looking great this morning, and if I do say so, it does feel like it's getting a little warmer. It looks like today will be partly cloudy, with a high of 48 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. This is what the weather will look like this week. Some scattered showers this weekend, but overall, it looks like temperatures are rising. Great conditions to travel to Happy Valley. As always, we like to go through every event that's happening throughout the week and see what exciting things are coming to Happy Valley. March 3rd will bring the hit stage show Waitress to the Eisenhower Auditorium. Meet Jenna, a waitress and expert pie maker who dreams of a way out of her small town and rocky marriage. Pouring her heart into her pies, she crafts desserts that mirror her topsy-turvy life. March 4th is the kickoff of First Friday. It's the first Friday of the month. Experience the cool vibe of downtown State College during our monthly First Friday events. Experience after hours access to galleries and shops, live music from hops and vines, retail and restaurant specials, and much more. March 5th is the Laurel Run Switchbacker 10K. Let's get the blood flowing with a jaunty run out and back on leg one of this counterclockwise Tussie Mountain back 50 mile relay and ultra marathon course. Registration is free. Runners completing all five standard teasers are eligible for a grand prize. Also, if you are joining, bring gently used shoes to donate to Sneakers for Good, a worthy charity. Through the Color of the Marsh art project, we have several art pieces for the community to enjoy. 34 artwork submissions have been installed along the boardwalk of Millbrook Marsh Nature Center and will remain on display through Monday, March 7th. For more information on this, visit happyvalley.com. And remember, if you have an event or activity you'd like to see on the website, feel free to visit happyvalley.com and submit it in our events page. The one thing I love about Happy Valley is the abundance of things to do in the area. This week, we'd like to explore three family adventures in Happy Valley. This is one of our latest blog posts, which can help you plan your next trip to Happy Valley. Happy Valley has plenty of family-friendly opportunities for fun and adventure. Here are three ideas to get you going. Have a blast at Tussie Mountain and Penn's Cave and Wildlife Park. Known as a popular wintertime ski destination, Tussie Mountain shines all year long thanks to a huge variety of activities for family at its fun center, including go-karts, batting cages, par 3 golf, mini golf, and a driving range. TussieMountain.com has details on pricing and reservations. A short drive down scenic Route 45 takes you to one of Happy Valley's most unique natural attractions, Penn's Cave and Wildlife Park. America's only all-water cavern and farm nature wildlife park. Offering guided boat tours year-round, the Farm Nature Wildlife Tour traverses 1,600 acres that have been carefully preserved for birds and animals. You'll be able to see native North American animals such as wolves, bison, Texas longhorn cattle, and of course, the Penn's Cave icon, the mountain lion. For rates and schedules for cave and wildlife tours, visit penscave.com or visit happyvalley.com. Happy Valley has many claims to fame, but none are sweeter than its ice cream. While Penn State Berkey Creamery is perhaps the most renowned, and of course for good reason, it's not the only ice cream game in the town. Your family can make an entire day of touring Happy Valley's top ice cream spots and choosing your favorite. Stop one. The Creamery, of course. The Creamery on Penn State's campus generously scoops its traditional favorites like Death by Chocolate and Vanilla Bean, plus new and seasonal flavors. Stop number two, Meyer Dairy. Founded in 1887, Meyer Milk is a staple in local refrigerators, bottled in glass jars and sold just days after cows are milked, and makes some of the freshest ice cream you'll ever taste. Flavors change throughout the year, but the unique grape nuts flavor is a local favorite. Stop three, Wayson Farm Market. On Shingletown Road, 
a longtime seasonal market, started making its own ice cream in summer 2020. While flavors are limited, the market has a secret Sunday weapon, owner Candy Wason's homemade peanut butter sauce. Inglebean Ice Cream in Penns Valley's village of Milheim sells hyper-local, hard ice cream made with neighboring Springbank Acres Farm milk. Homemade toppings like brownies and cookies come from right next door its sister business, the Ingle Bean Coffee Shop. You can come for the adventure, and you can stay for the ice cream. There's always so many fun things to do in Happy Valley, and visiting happyvalley.com will always keep you in the loop of all the events and activities we have going on in the area. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay notified on all the events and activities happening in Happy Valley. Make sure to leave your own favorite activity down in the comments. Well, that's it for today's episode of Happy Moments in Happy Valley. Thanks for listening. And again, join us next week for more Happy Moments in Happy Valley. And to stay up to date with all the events and Happy Moments, visit HappyValley.com. And remember, adventure awaits you in Happy Valley.